Sa pagtatapos ng 2024 NBA Finals at yung nalalapit na anticipated Bronny James NBA Draft, madaming NBA fans nagtataka kung magre-resign ba talaga si LeBron sa Lakers or i-entertain niya yung possibility sumali sa ibang teams. Sa video na to, pag-uusapan natin yung mga different scenarios na makapagbigay opportunity kay LeBron na manalo ng championship ulit. Pero sa mga magkocomment kagad na imposible or for marketing purposes lang yung pag-free agent ni LeBron, sa totoo lang naiintindihan ko naman kayo mga broski pero kung isip natin yung mga nakaraang taon parang at this point anything is possible so unahin na nga natin tong first team na may possibilidad na makakuha kay Lebron James and ironically ito yung first team ni Lebron sa karyer niya sa mga NBA junkhead Lebron diehard alam nyo naman na taga Akron Ohio tong si Lebron James alam din naman ng lahat na mahal na mahal siya ng Cavs fans dahil na fulfill niya yung promise niya sa pagsuot ni Lebron ng wine and gold jersey for the third time actually puts the Cavaliers at the top of the east mga broski at nandito niwala ako na kayang-kaya nila talonin tong Boston Celtics with LeBron on the team. At sa pagbalik ni King James, syempre may kailangan tayo i-let go na pieces at yun na nga si Jared Allen, pati na rin si Karis Lavert. Feel ko mas maganda i-keep si Evan Mobley, hindi lang dahil bata pa siya, pero hindi niya pa na-reach yung full potential niya. At sa trade na to with Charlotte Hornets, actually we're getting back a similar type of player in Mark Williams with a lower salary at syempre mas bata pa. And just like that mga broski, eto na yung bagong starting five ng Cleveland Cavaliers. All eyes sa pagbalik ni King James, mawawalan ng pressure si Donovan Mitchell, pati na rin si Darius Garland. With this team, sa tingin ko, they can dominate the East basta walang injury. And malay mo, why not give Cleveland Cavaliers another championship banner, ba? Diba? Yung pangalawang team naman na pag-uusapan natin ay itong fresh off the finals Dallas Mavericks. Yung dynamic duo ni Lebron and Kyrie, alam na natin yung history. Kaya madalas banggitin ni Lebron na nanghihinayang siya na hindi sila mag ni Kyrie ngayon. I'm so proud and to watch him and continue his growth and whatever the case may be. And at the same time I'm so mad at the same time that I am not his running mate anymore Mataas din yung respeto ni James kay Luka Doncic dahil sa similarity nila as a team player. Para maging possible tong scenario na to, unang-una kailangan bitawan ng Dallas Mavericks itong salary ni Tim Hardaway Jr. And most likely, igigive up din nila yung 3D player nila na si Josh Green. Sa bagong starting lineup na to, interesado ako makita at mapanood kung paano mag-workout si Luka Doncic at LeBron James sa same team. LeBron James signing with the Dallas Mavericks is definitely going to be a surprising move mga tol. Pero kasi kung isipin mo yung storyline ni eh, LeBron James and Kyrie reunites. Tapos ipapasa na ni King James yung torch kay Luka Magic pagka-retire niya. Kaya sa tingin ko, with this potential signing, kayang-kaya ulit ang Dallas Mavericks makabalik ng NBA Finals. Bukod sa Dallas Mavericks, mayroon pa tayong isang team na if gusto nila mag-win now, sila yung possible dark horse sa pag-sign kay Lebron. Now, agad-agad isipin natin na the chances are low kasi unang-una, bata lang tong team na to and hindi sila masyadong nananalo. Pero thinking ba kasi, lumipat si Lebron from an aging Miami Heat to a young Cleveland Cavaliers, tapos mga ilang trades lang, championship contender kagad. At nung lumipat naman si Lebron from a Cavaliers team na hindi masyadong fit to a young Lakers team with a lot of talent, mga ilang trades lang din at championship contender tenders na sila kagad. So may possibilidad na if LeBron chooses to go to San Antonio Spurs and yun yung gusto ng San Antonio Spurs then with their draft capital pati na lang yung young piece nila they can definitely make some trades para maging championship contender. Pero then again kaya ako sila tinawagan na dark horse na team sa pag-sign kay LeBron. Mas gugustuhan kasi ng San Antonio Spurs i-keep yung young pieces nila imbis na bitawan. Yung pang-apat at huling team na pag-uusapan natin actually meron tong controversy. Fans ni LeBron at fans ni Curry magkoko ay dito idol. Kung di nyo alam mga broski, nung nakaraang 2024 NBA trade deadline, usap-usapan na tumawag daw tong Warriors sa Lakers sa availability ni Lebron. Pero based sa statement ni James, hindi daw totoo tong mga reports na to. Yun nga lang what if totoo nga, kasi may time din na sinabi ni Lebron James na bukod sa anak niya, gusto niya makalaro si Steph Curry. Steph Curry? Yeah, that's the one. Steph Curry is the one that I want to play with, for sure. In today's game. Now, para mangyari tong crazy scenario na to, unang-una si Chris Paul itetrade yan matik. Yung Clay Thompson situation naman, di naman talaga tayo sure based sa pag-unfollow niya ng Instagram ng Warriors if legit talaga na alis na siya. Pero let's assume na lang na magstay siya para hindi ma-break yung Warriors score 3 nila. Imagine LeBron on the fast break tas nahanap niya si Steph Curry for the open 3. That is crazy. Pero even with this team offensively, defense can be the concern here mga broski. Kaya it's going to take more than LeBron pa 
Bar makuha nila yung pang limang championship nila. Ngayon, balik tayo sa umpisa at isipin naman natin kung mag-resign si LeBron sa Lakers, ano kaya mangyayari? Sa loob ng 6 years tenure ni LeBron sa Lakers, isang championship yung napanalunan niya. Mostly dahil poor decision making ng general manager ang nangyari dito. Pero let's give him the benefit of the doubt at bigyan natin siya ng opportunity ulit. Unang-una sa trade block, the Angelo Russell, sorry broski pero kailangan mo na umalis idol. At kailangan nila i-flip yung kontrata ni Ruya Hachimura for a more effective player. Eto lang masasabi ko why Zerar Gang, if makuha nila tong dalawang players na to, they have a good possibility to be back at the top of the West. First up, si Dejante Murray. Hindi nag-workout yung Atlanta Hawks backcourt experiment nila with Trey Young. Dejante is tall, can shoot, can play, make, can defend. That's what the Lakers need right now. Kunin na nila si D'Lo, Young players, draft assets, and we got a done deal. Etong pangalawang player naman si Malcolm Brogdon, another playmaker, a former 6th man of the year, great shooter. Ibigay lang nila si Roy Hachimura, pati na rin si Gabe Vincent to the Portland Trailblazers, and we get a done deal. Etong new look lineup ng Lakers is definitely versatile kasi pwede rin mag-start si AR, pwede siya mag 6 man, pero mas maganda yung chances nila having two of these players sa team. And finally, my experience nila yung championship parade sa LA. Let me know why Zerar Gang, ano yung opinions nyo sa scenarios na to? Or baka may suggestion pa kayo kung saan mapupunta si Lebron? Let me know in the comment section below. It's your boy Yeser JC. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, hit the notice. I'll see you in the next video. Peace! I need to know everything. Who and what and where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything.